In my situation, the, or in my experience, the easiest way to take a centric relation by, uh, I mean, they're, they're, you can use bimanual manipulation and so on, but it, it's very easy as soon as the teeth touch for the patient to bite, and it takes quite a lot of experience to do that. So the most uh, easy, simple way i found is to use a leaf gauge. Now, this is a, a leaf gauge. It's just a whole bunch of plastic strips. Uh, each strip is, because they, I guess, were invented in America, they're not in metric, so each strip is one-eighth of a millimetre thick. So eight leaves, if you count eight leaves together, that will equal one millimetre. Okay, so that is eight leaves, it'll be one millimetre of distance. Now, the key thing to remember is that most people don't function with their condyles firmly seated against the base of the skull, okay? They're down the eminence a little ways. So that, by definition, where they're functioning is not usually in centric relation. That means that when you open their bite up and remove the influence of their teeth and ask them to bite hard, the condyles are going to go up and back. So this means that uh, when the condyles move up and back, and if you watch the rest of the occlusion lecture, you will understand, it means that even when you open the front teeth a little bit, the back teeth can still touch. That's because the condyle is sliding up and so the back teeth still touch. So when we're taking a bite record that we want to be in centric relation, we need to, uh, we need to lift the height at the front teeth enough until the back teeth no longer touch. Try it again. Bite as hard as you can. Okay, so now, we've got a vertical dimension at the front teeth where the back teeth no longer touch. This is very important. So get the patient to bite as hard as they can. So bite down as hard as you can. Okay, now if their lateral pterygoids are tense, it will actually be a bit tender. Is it tender? A little bit. Which side? Both. Both sides. Okay, so at the moment, uh, our patient, when she's biting down, the lateral pterygoids are getting some stretch, so she's getting a little bit of tenderness either side. Obviously, the longer we get her to sit here, the more those muscles will stretch and the better the bite we will get is. And obviously, you also need to remind the technician that with any sort of bite record, they need to trim the bite record before they seat the models because the bite record is always more accurate than the models and it captures the fissure details really, really accurately, which means that the models will never seat properly on a bite record unless they trim the uh, bite record down.